Hello, I'm Novi Clark. Welcome to my workshop. I'd like to show you some of the um, improvements uh, and upgrades I've made to uh, my milling machine. I purchased this in 2016 and the first thing I added was a, a tachometer so I can monitor the uh, speed of the spindle uh, when I'm using uh, cutters, fly cutters or a drill chuck with drills of different sizes. Um, it monitors the speed using a device called a hall sensor. There's a small magnet mounted here next to the drawer bar and it picks the rotation of the, the spindle and gives you a, a digital readout. Um, I made this sensor to be easily removed so I've got easy access to the drawer bar uh, when I'm changing um, the collet chuck for a drill chuck. Um, I'm running the device here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this easily on the monitor, but you get a readout or a rotation of the spindle. Um, originally, um, I put uh, a little marker here on the collet chuck, and I use one of these. Uh, uh, digital speed monitors uh, uh, to measure the speed of rotation. Um, pretty inconvenient to use um, and it takes a lot longer uh, to do this exercise, much quicker to use the, the monitor. Um, the second thing um, I added were covers uh, to stop Swarf getting um, down inside the, the, the bed of the milling machine, one here, one on the back, and another one which I can hang down from the back just to stop swarf from getting everywhere into the mechanism of the mill. Um, originally, it had um, sort of concertina type covers here, but I found they were very, very poorly made, and the cutting oil seemed to rot them away very, very quickly. So, this was a, a useful upgrade. To, to put on the on the milling machine. Um, another thing I added uh, fairly recently was um, um, a, a gas piston here. Originally, it had a torsion bar uh, to support the weight of the the head of the milling machine when it's when you rise it up and down. Um, but I found that the movement in the downwards direction was very very jerky using the torsion bar. And a lot of people have replaced this with a gas strut. It works extremely well and you get a much smoother operation of the head, raising this up and down. Um, adding some sewing machine lights. Here you need a, always need to have plenty of light on the work. I, use an angle poise lamp as well but these are much better I can angle them in lots of different positions uh, to illuminate the workpiece in the, the vice. Um, the vice is a fairly recent uh, uh, upgrade for me. Uh, the original one was um, uh, a much simpler design vice. I found this one very very much better. This was a present to me last Christmas. Um, works extremely well. The first thing I added was a speed handle. As I found the handle that comes with the vice rather awkward to use and it tends to hit on uh, the wheel here which operates the Y movement of the mill. This is a much better device to use. It's very very much quicker than using this one and of course you can then just take it off while the machine's in operation. Again, adding another cover here to stop Swarf getting into the lead screw of the vice. Um, one thing I wanted to add for a long time was uh, a power cross feed to the mill. Um, it's very laborious winding the, the bed backwards and forwards for it seems to be hours while you're machining material. Um, so I found somebody else had 
they did a very similar device to this. Um, it's made up of um, two gears. It's a large 60 tooth gear here which is attached to the winding handle and a smaller 30 tooth gear here added to a small fractional motor. That's pivoted to the, the bed of the uh, milling machine here. Let's release that with an Allen key. That can be dropped into place. Just engage with the larger gear and then locked in position. The controls for this are in a box I've mounted on the front of a machine here. And this gives you the two directions. You've got a speed control as well. And I generally find that for most work, using this in its highest position is, is actually the best. And the simple rocker switch just changes the direction here. Works amazingly well. I didn't really think that the tiny motor here would have enough torque to operate it, but in fact it works incredibly well. Um, it, an important thing really is to try and keep the, the bed of the milling machine nice and clean. So I just made these wooden plates here which just drop into the uh, keyways of the bed here and keep a lot of the swarf out of the machine. It just sort of helps to make uh, cleaning up very, very simple. Um, the most recent uh, modification I made. I've just removed the camera here so I can show it to you on the opposite side of the machine here is a digital vernier gauge which I've mounted to the column of the milling machine and to the head of the machine here and uh, you can barely see that with a digital readout here, which is a, it's a very inexpensive plastic for a gauge. I wanted to test out this system first, so I didn't want to use um, a very expensive version. Um, I will replace this with a metal one now. Now I know that the system works really well. Um, you can set it for imperial or metric measurements. Uh, you can zero out the meter here and by raising the head up and down you can adjust the head for very very small adjustment. The advantage with um, the, the metal versions of these is that they do measure to three uh, digital places where this only measures to two. Um, I really want it to measure to three so that I can make a one thousandth adjustments. Um, while I'm operating this, but it does work surprisingly well. Um, took a bit of figuring out um, to find uh, decent mounting positions for it, but uh, in reality it works very, very well indeed. Well, that's some of the uh, nice improvements I've made. Um, I'm just going to check my list to see if I've actually missed anything. Uh, no, I don't think I have. I think I've covered all the various uh, uh, adaptations and changes I've made to the milling machine. It just makes operations so much easier. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope to bring you some more videos in the future of other things I've done, improvements in my workshop. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now.